Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general weekly reading for Aquarius from the 12th to the 18th of August 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. Um, if you would like a personal reading that resonates specifically with your circumstances, then please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck walkthrough series. You'll find those very, very interesting and helpful. And so like, share, subscribe um, if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. I'm going to be using uh, the uh, psychic tarot for the energy read today. Okay, so you've got the devil card over here, and this might be that you're being manipulated by a situation that you are in. You might be feeling really stuck, very controlled, uh, feeling as though you have no power, very disempowered within this particular situation. You're trying to leave it. Uh, you can see this person's really in two minds about leaving it. You want to move forward, uh, but something is holding you back or pulling you back into that situation. So you are feeling pretty much stuck, very controlled, um, you know, and feeling very negative about the whole situation as well. You've got the transformation card over there. So this is a need for you to leave, let go and move on. So a need for you to cut ties, um, change the circumstances by really uh, severing ties with whatever it is or whoever it is and moving on. You've got the Empress card over here and you know you will have got a lot of plans and a lot of things that you really want to get done. Uh, but it seems like you know you're not you're a bit stuck because you know something is controlling you in that particular situation or somebody is preventing you from moving forward. But you do want prosperity and you do want to move forward and you have a lot of uh, things that you want to get fulfilled in your life with that Empress card. It looks like, you know, since this is ruled by Venus, things will come your way, but you do need to cut your ties uh, with uh, whatever that situation is and move on. So three major arcana cards over here. So this is very much uh, what your life path is demanding that you do at this particular moment. Make a decision of leaving things behind and moving forward. Uh, so in the past, you've got the movement and choices card over here. So you have had a lot of options. You can see there's a lot of doors over here. This might be on the work front. This could have even be in, you know, in the relationship front over here because you've got the rings over there, you know, signifying, um, you know, maybe a relationship or contract. It could be, it could be a decision about money, uh, you know, starting something brand new. Uh, so there's a lot of movement over there, uh, a lot of choices uh, that you have been trying to make. So you have been trying to, to change your life completely. You're weighing all your options over there but that's a two of pentacles there is something that you needed to sacrifice or give up um, in order for you to move forward so uh, cutting something out and maybe this is the thing um, you know that whatever it is that you had to sacrifice or whatever you have to give up is very very difficult to to to, to do so uh, you know, it, it's going to cause a lot of loss for you and you're not really happy to do that at this particular moment this is the reason why you know you're you're um, really uh, weighing your options, really thinking about it quite, um, you know, in depth. And that transformation card is calling for you to make that decision. So even though it's something that is going to be very, very uh, dear to you, uh, that you have to leave behind, it looks like you have to make that sacrifice in order for you to move forward. Uh, and once you do that, once you make the decision, and once you cut out that situation from your life, a lot of recognition comes in there. Uh, you know, you can see this man's got... Um, that medal around his uh, neck over there. So once you give up that situation, better things are on the horizon for you. So you do need to actually make a choice here and move on. And there you go. Moving on from the old situation uh, is very, very important. This is the um, the six of a uh, rod, um, six of swords. So this is about making that change, making uh, um, that difficult decision, 
leaving behind uh, everything and actually moving on to something better, a new doorway opening over there. So once you make that choice, once you get away from whatever it is or whoever it is that holds you back by cutting them out of your life, it looks like you know, you're going to be moving on to something better and a new doorway is opening. And you are being divinely guided. This is heavenly light coming in over there. And it will mean that you'll get a lot of success, a lot of recognition as well. So you are being faced with quite a difficult decision uh, about giving up something uh, that you're not that you're quite reluctant to give up in order for you to get future success and future happiness. So I'm going to be drawing cards from the Kingdom Within Tarot, and this is for the main read. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune, and this is another ma major Arcana card coming in. So there are events that are going to happen, uh, or things that are going to be happening beyond your control that are going to change everything around. So whatever plans you make, it might upset your plans. It might um, you know, just change the way things are going on. You've got the Sun card immediately below it, so it looks like you know there will be success, but you're going to have to take a stand and walk away from the past. You can see he's leaving this person that's in the mirror there. So walking away from the old and moving on into the light really is, seems to be the case. Um, you know, moving on into a better future. Uh, and a lot of clarity coming in with that sun card as well. So it's about work, it seems. The wheel of fortune coming to change your luck as well. So, uh, you know, like I said, events beyond your control. Things are going to be happening uh, that you didn't anticipate in order for you to make this change uh, and move on in your life path. You've got the Eight of Swords over here and the Page of Cups. So the Eight of Swords is feeling very, very stuck within this particular situation. Uh, you know, maybe people not taking you very, very seriously as well. Uh, things being a bit upside down. You can see this picture there with things, you know, um, upside down, really. Um, so it looks like, you know, things are... And you're, this woman's wearing a blindfold. So a lot of information has not come to light yet. This is, uh, says, being short-sighted. You do need to make plans for the future, but not being able to because you're feeling so stuck within this particular situation uh, where your hands and are tied, your eyes are blocked, and you really can't seem to get out of it. And it seems like there's a lot of mockery going on, people are having a go at this woman, uh, mocking her for whatever she's, uh, wherever she is at this particular moment. So nobody helping you out of the situation and you feeling very, very stuck within this particular situation. And I suppose this is the reason why the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to get you out of it, because it doesn't seem like anybody's been giving you a helping hand to get out of uh, this problem that you're in. You've got the Page of Cups over here, so it looks like there is a, an offer coming in. Now it's got Trickster on this particular card, so just be careful of whatever offer that comes in it might not be in your best interest to actually accept any kind of new offers that come in because this person might have some kind of hidden agenda because this is that uh, fairy puck you can see he's got everybody sleeping so uh, maybe this person might you know it's pulling the wool over your eyes so just be careful there could be somebody making some kind of offer to you uh, that is not very very much above board now you've got the King of Pentacles over here, so you have been focusing on your work, uh, focusing on you know working a lot to deadlines, being very um, focused on that Pentacle as well. So and you know slowly doing it, getting there pretty slowly, but getting there uh, nonetheless. So uh, a lot of effort has been put into your work. With Capricorn uh, on this card, it's about um, you know having your uh, ambitions and your goals and your career very much in your mind and working through it. Uh, through a lot of deadlines over here, it seems like you know time seems to be an I issue there. It seems like you know he's got the scythe in his hand over here, cutting out things that are not serving uh, you as well. It seems like that's what you've been doing in the past, just focusing on that work and cutting out things that were not or people that were not serving you. You've got the moon card over here, and this is about being a bit confused uh, and being a bit afraid about. Uh, 
reacting uh, and maybe a little bit depressed as well. That has been going on in the past few months. So although you've been working very, very hard, it seems like there's, there's that element of being depressed, being confused, being afraid to take the first step to do anything. And that's why maybe, you know, and it, this depression coming on uh, because of your feeling so tied up in this particular situation. Now, you want everything to work out for you. You're standing up for yourself. You know, you can see this is the sun card. You want success to come in over here. And you are sorting out the problems, uh, you're dealing with whatever problems you are, and you are trying to sort those out. Now, going into the future, you've got the Six of Swords, and so something new coming in for you over here. This is Fresh Horizons, leaving behind the old situations. If you look at these two cards sitting next to each other, it seems like, you know, where you've been feeling stuck, it looks like, uh, you know, you're going to be moving, moving off. Uh, you know, the swords are coming off. These are all the experiences that you've had, but it looks like a lot of wisdom. You've got the owl over there coming in for you, and you're going to be able to cut out um, the situation from your life and move away from it. So whatever drama you're going through at the moment, it looks like you're going to be able to come out of it. And all that mental anguish or mental uh, the, um, the stress that you're going through is also going to be left behind soon as well with that Six of Swords. You've got the Empress, so whatever it is, you're going to be able to manifest it. This is the card with uh, Venus in it, and you can see she's got this beautiful home over here. So whatever it is you're, uh, you're going to be, you're being facing, you are coming out of it, and it looks like uh, success is coming your way. Money will be coming in, and you know that life that you have been longing for is coming your way. You've got a lot of expectations. You can see there's a pregnant woman over here, and it looks like you will be able to bring that into fruition as well. Now, it looks like you might be even leaving an old job or an old situation where there was some kind of security. So if this is not about work, then it's, you know, it's about a relationship. This might be uh, having gone through a divorce and coming out of this particular situation. There is some kind of financial payoff as well with this particular card over here, this Ten of Pentacles. And, uh, you know, you're going to feel, you're going to be, you know, moving on by yourself because you've got uh, mercury uh, they're sitting there in virgo so this is about being an independent thinker but also you know leaving behind a family situation ending that and moving on to something um, where you're by yourself or working independently or living independently as well uh, and like i said there could be some finances coming in over there so this could be about a job situation where you're actually ending an old job where there was a lot of conflict or this could be about a relationship where there was a lot of conflict um, you know the swords always signify legal um, problems where you're being feeling very tied up with the situation it seems like you're going to be cutting those ties and moving on this could be legal endings to a situation and moving on uh you know taking your things and actually even physically relocating um so this could be ending contracts in a work situation or this could be ending contracts in a relationship situation where you have a divorce going on over there you've got the hierophant over there so you are trying to uh you know bring in the money um there is a need for you to get some kind of advice, maybe even in the form of legal advice. This is also trying to join uh, institution, you know, groups of people really that are like-minded or think the same way you do. So this is about maybe seeking some financial advice, but also because there's a lot of pentacles in this particular card, uh, and you've got that cow over there, the cash cow over there. So maybe getting some financial advice, and maybe you've been thinking about that really. Now, going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the Nine of Pentacles over here, Temperance over there, and the Queen of Swords. So, the Nine of Pentacles is about inopportunity in this deck. It's talking about, you know, that the opportunity you're waiting for is on the horizon, but not quite there. It's not quite the right time to completely have celebration. This is also about going uh, solo, being independent, maybe in work, but it, this could also be, um, you know, going off and being single after being in a relationship. So this is what's coming in after maybe a divorce, where you're going off and having to fend for yourself, earn your own money and um, look after yourself, really. Um, right now, things are not quite opened up yet with that Nine of Pentacles. Uh, it's about to happen for you, but, it, you know, it's not, the door is not fully open. So the opportunity has not fully presented itself just yet you are waiting you've got the temperance card over there so you are following a new pathway over there it seems your road is open there with that temperance card over here and you're going to have to use all your skills or um, you know everything you've learned you're going to have to apply it to your life now and expand you've got Sagittarius over there there might be some new some might there might be some travel maybe involved uh, you know in work in a work situation um, 
so that this, you know, you might be doing a job that requires you to communicate with a lot of people on the international front, a lot of traveling, but you're definitely setting some new goals over here and the path is definitely open for you to succeed at whatever it is you're doing. You've got the Queen of Swords over here and this is about waiting uh, for things to happen and being very determined. It is your card. Um, uh, you've got, you know, you do need to um, set your goals. This is also, uh, you know, the Queen of Swords is also the divorcee of the, the deck. So this could be that you're ending that uh, relationship and moving on uh, from that relationship uh, and moving, going solo really and, um, you know, being very independent as well with that Nine of Pentacles. But if this is a work situation, this is also about going off and doing something that brings in a lot of money but also have to, you know, having to work very independently as well. So you are waiting for some kind of legal issue to be sorted out with this queen of swords as well and you're very determined to get things sorted out uh, and move on it seems like you know you're moving on by yourself it doesn't seem like you're moving into another relationship it looks like you're ending ties with a lot of people that you used to know in the past and even with the empress card it's about independence uh, taking control getting success on your own terms rather than on what anybody else has got to say. And you are definitely moving away from all the drama that you have been going on. And there is a, de a definite legal closure to whatever it is you're dealing with, if you're dealing with any kind of legal situation. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Angel Tarot for the Oracle read. Okay, so you can see that with the Ten of Water over here, this is the end of very, very difficult emotional problems that you've been going through. And your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. So it looks like you might even be, you know, this might have been a divorce that you're ending and you're going off by yourself uh, and you're being very independent. Um, this could also be, you know, where you have been in a work situation where you were dealing with a lot of difficult people and you're now ending that situation and moving away from that. Uh, that. The King of Cups comes in with an offer over here and uh, also maybe some advice coming in for you there with that King of Cups. Um, so there could be some a new offer on the job front coming in, um, you know, so that you can uh, do some further study, further learning, or even you as a teacher. But this is also about getting some advice from somebody that uh, is around you that will be able to guide you. And it looks like you're starting off something brand new here with that Ace of Earth. So this could be an inflow in, of abundance, a promising business adventure, important documents and contracts. So if you're going through a legal situation or any kind of problems as far as your work front goes, it looks like you're going to be starting off something brand new there with that Ace of Earth um, coming in there for you. So something really good, it's going to involve, uh, you know, whatever this new job offer is, it might involve you teaching or training up people there, but definitely going to bring in some new money and new abundance. If you're going through a, a divorce situation over here or where you're separating from somebody, um, it looks like you're going to make a brand new start somewhere else. And, you know, you might need to get some kind of advice or support from somebody giving you some good advice on how to reestablish your security. So your security coming in again for you there, and there is going to be an inflow of abundance. So there might be some kind of um, monetary settlement as far as that divorce goes, which brings in new money, but you're going to be making a fresh start and very, very independently of whatever that previous situation was because you're leaving behind everything with that ten of uh, water or the ten of cups. So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you and please don't forget uh, to like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.